Seagulls are considered pests, but they're great hunters as well. They're becoming increasingly numerous. If they want your food, you can bet they will try to get it. Oh. Have you ever seen a seagull eat a starfish? Do you think a seagull can swallow a rat hole? If you want to see nasty seagulls in action, you're at the right place. So let's get started. It's a freaking baby shark. Yeah. Oh my God. Seagull versus puffin. A seagull has killed a puffin and is trying to swallow it whole. But the puffin is chubby and it's not easy for the gull to follow through. After a little bit of effort and perseverance, the gull manages to swallow the puffin. Watch as the puffin lands with a sand eel in its mouth. But just as it begins walking and takes off, a seagull grabs the puffin and tries to fly off with it. Seagull versus Sparrow Seagulls will attack prey wherever they spot them. So it's no surprise this seagull is killing a sparrow on the street. Cars or no cars, the seagull gets things done and eats his meal. Seagulls will eat just about anything they can find. Watch how this seagull snatches a small bird that lands in a park. The bird didn't even have time to react, and it was already in the seagull's stomach. On his way to the bank, a seagull spotted a sparrow and decided to swallow the bird before entering the bank to renew his mortgage. He was later arrested for murder by officials. A seagull lands in a park of some sort when it spots a small sparrow, and it attacks and kills the small bird quickly before swallowing it whole. Seagull Swallows In this video, a seagull hunts and kills a rabbit on the island of Skellig, off the coast of Ireland. There are many curious onlookers watching the bird in action, but it looks like the rabbit is not easy to swallow. Oh wait, no, it's all good. The seagull has just swallowed it whole. The seagull in this video goes on a killing spree when he snatches five bats on a rooftop. The bats are tiny, but the second they get close enough to the hungry girl, he gulps them up like candy. This seagull has ripped a crow apart, and to be honest, it's even difficult to tell if it's a crow. The bird has been ripped to pieces. A seagull is seen pecking into a dead bird in this video. It's unsure whether the seagull killed the bird or just found it in this condition. Seagull versus Rat This seagull cleans the streets of Sweden when it catches a rat and eats it whole. You can see the seagull is having a hard time swallowing the rat as it desperately tries to gulp it down. It takes a few seconds, but it gets the job done. Seagulls are skilled when it comes to hunting and killing rodents, as we've seen in the previous clip. And this seagull is no different. He snatches a rat and swallows it whole in a matter of seconds. I just can't get over how these birds can swallow animals whole this way. Besides, what's the pleasure in eating when you can't even taste what you're eating? Fish, marine and freshwater invertebrates, rodents, amphibians, reptiles and plant materials are just some of the many foods these birds may opportunistically consume. During the mating season, they get together in large groups known as colonies. Adult pairs tend to stay inside their territory and aggressively protect their young from any outsiders. A girl's mate is for life, which means girls are monogamous. A seagull finds a rat close to a body of water and it takes the bird a few seconds to swallow the rodent whole. Seagull fighting over food If you're on the beach and you decide to feed a seagull, be prepared to face the consequences. A woman decides to throw a piece of pizza at these gulls and the entire thing turns into a feeding frenzy, with scuffles between the birds fighting for the pizza. The woman is lucky she wasn't injured during the food fight. These seagulls have found a bag of chips on the beach, and they decide to grab a few chips out of the bag. The birds compete for whatever is left in the bag, and some even fight each other for the prize. This is chips we're talking about. It's pizza time on the beach, and these seagulls are all vying for the same piece of pizza until one of the girls snatches the pizza and takes off with it. Seagull versus Squirrel In our thumbnail, we can see a squirrel being crushed by a seagull. The seagull closes its powerful beak on the small rodent and begins to swallow it whole. Like we've seen previously, seagulls can take on bigger prey, and this seagull attacks the squirrel and stabs it with its beak a few times until it kills it. Once that is accomplished, the seagull does the old trick again and swallows the squirrel whole just like it was candy. The squirrel tried to fight the seagull, but I guess the big bird is too powerful for the little squirrel. The reason squirrels swallow their food like this seagull swallowed this squirrel is because they do not have teeth, and their claws are not very efficient. 
so they can't manage to separate the meat from the bones like we do. Hence, it is in their best interest to gobble up their meal as fast as possible. Watch how this seagull manages to swallow an entire large squirrel whole. If I didn't see it with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it. It's mind-boggling to watch, and I still can't get used to it. Seagull versus Starfish Seagulls enjoy all sorts of delicacies and starfish seem to be among them. This seagull has caught a starfish and has brought it far away from the beach to discreetly enjoy it. Probably because it does not want all the other seagulls knowing about this find. So guess what? Looks like the word got around and Mr. Seagull is not able to enjoy the starfish on his own. The other members of the flock want a piece of the action and they are letting him know. They are wondering why their friend is not sharing with Sugar Bear. What's the matter with you, says one of the seagulls curiously. The other begins to challenge the seagull for the starfish, and it looks like it's about to get sticky out there. Finally, the seagull swallows the starfish, and it is game over. A seagull on Salt Spring Island nearly swallows a starfish whole. It's amazing how they do this, gulp after gulp. But from the looks of it, it seems like starfish are not as easy to swallow as other creatures. Starfish are quite big and they are in the shape of a star, but it doesn't prevent seagulls from gulping them whole, just like the seagull in this clip. The seagull breaks the starfish into smaller pieces so it's easier to eat. I told you seagulls were smart, and this guy proves it once again. It takes the seagull in this video about 10 minutes to swallow a starfish. The seagull can be seen holding the starfish in its mouth for a while, and when another seagull lands next to it, asking for a piece, the seagull turns around and ignores him. This seagull thought this starfish would be a good meal, but it seems like it's too big for the seagull to swallow. It kind of looks stuck in the seagull's mouth. After fending off other interested parties, this seagull finally savors the moment when it can eat its lunch in peace. A seagull can be seen on the riverbank with a starfish in his mouth as he tries to swallow the creature. It takes the bird a few seconds, but he gets the job done. Seagull versus Pigeon While this pigeon was attending the Cannes Film Festival, it got into an argument with a seagull about one of the films. The seagull asked the pigeon to step outside and a scuffle between the two birds broke out. The pigeon was no match for the seagull, and when a lady tried to intervene, the seagull took off with the pigeon in its mouth. Feeling the pressure from onlookers, the seagull moved to a more discreet location. This is horrific video showing a bloodthirsty seagull swallowing a live pigeon whole after pecking the poor creature to death. The winged vermin met a gritty end as the monster seagull jerked its body and neck up and down before unbelievably swallowing it feet and all. The horrific clip, believed to have been filmed in the Italian capital city of Rome, begins with a smaller seagull thrashing its victim around in the air. After bashing it against the pavement a few more times, the seagull then hurls the pigeon into the air and opens its beak. It then jerks its body up and down as it tries to swallow the bird in an uncomfortable manner. It even swallows the bird's wings and feet after opening its throat and jaw as wide as possible. The clip eventually cuts out as the aggressive predator casually strolls away from the gruesome scene. In a public plaza where hundreds of pigeons go to beg for food, an opportunistic seagull snatches one of the pigeons and mangles it to death. These types of places must be ideal for hungry seagulls looking for their next meal. Who needs people to feed them when they can just eat the competition? Perched on a roof, a seagull is seen eating a dead pigeon. After the seagull gets his fill, he walks away from the dead bird. The carcass will probably end up feeding other birds that spot it later. Another pigeon is getting a beating from a seagull in this video. The seagull keeps biting and pecking at the pigeon and practically demolishes the bird in minutes. But many other birds are interested in the seagull's catch, including a hungry crow and a crazy magpie. The birds eventually manage to get some scraps after the seagull has his fill and takes off. Seagull vs Octopus The seagull in this video finds an octopus close to the water, but it seems like it's the first time it's trying to eat one because it keeps dropping it on the ground and has no clue how to swallow it whole. This seagull feasts on a beached octopus in southern France as soon as it spots the eight-legged creature and it doesn't take time for the octopus to find its way into the seagull's stomach. During the low tide at the mouth of Capilano River, many birds are feeding around this area. It was a surprise to see the gull had found an octopus and tried to eat it. An octopus was caught by a seagull. At first, the nasty bird wasn't sure how to eat it, so it was nibbling at it, but eventually it swallowed the entire octopus whole. Seagull vs Crabs Seagulls are always roaming the skies around beaches and resorts in the hopes of finding something to eat. 
They will even steal food from humans if they have to. This seagull came in for some exquisite seafood when it found a crab on the beach and had it for breakfast. A seagull fiddles with a small crab and after dropping it a few times, the pesky bird finally swallows the crab. When seagulls attack crabs, they flip them over and bite into their tender spots, which easily kills the crab and feeds the seagull. The seagulls can walk on land, fly and swim with equal aplomb. More so than other types of seabirds, gulls are well specialized for land travel and smaller gulls are typically nimbler on land. Sideways motion best describes the way a gull moves. When in the air, they may hover and take off swiftly with very little room. A couple of seagulls can be seen eating crabs in this video. More particularly, one of the seagulls is feasting on the crab while the other is watching and keeping his distance. Seagull vs. Snake This seagull finds a snake on a dock and it doesn't hesitate to snatch it and take it to a more secluded area, away from the other seagulls. The snake is still alive and when the seagull drops it on the floor, it tries to slither away. But the seagull bites it repeatedly and begins to swallow it whole. Once that's done, the seagull jumps into the water, has a drink and enjoys the day. A seagull finds a tiny snake and even though the snake is extremely small, it won't stop the seagull from eating it. Anything is good when you're constantly hungry. This seagull has caught an eel and is eating the creature in front of a friend, but he doesn't offer him any. He keeps it all to himself and swallows the eel whole in just a few seconds. Many of these seagulls are selfish and they seem to work on a first come first serve basis. Seagull vs Stingray A seagull finds a stingray in the water and begins to peck at it. After a few pecks, it grabs the stingray and swallows it whole. After filling its tummy, it goes for a nice swim. This stingray gets washed up on shore when a seagull examines it. After checking it out, the seagull decides to pass and walk away. Now that's something I didn't expect. I would really like to know why the seagull refused to eat the stingray. Even though seagulls don't have the biggest mouths, they can swallow surprisingly large animals, just like the seagull in this video, as it swallows a nice sized eel. Seagull vs Baby Shark There was a plethora of food around this seagull on this beach in Ocean City, but for some reason, this seagull felt the urge to take a plunge into the water and snag a shark. The Ocean City, New Jersey gulls are so aggressive and have become so much of a problem to beach and boardwalk goers that the city hired falconers to fly birds of prey over the area every day from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And it has worked. There are now less birds on the boardwalk. A small shark finds itself way out of the water on dry sand when a seagull pays it a visit and decides to perform a complete physical. It decides the shark isn't in perfect physical condition to be eaten. The seagull enjoys eating these small sharks, but bigger sharks are the main predators of seagulls. There are gulls on every continent, and they breed there. Many gull species migrate southward to warmer climes during the colder months. These birds range in size from moderate to huge, and their feathers are often gray, white, or a combination of the two. This baby sand shark finds out what it's like to be attacked and eaten by a seagull on an early morning at the beach. Seagull eats fish. This seagull is trying to swallow a big fish, and I'm not sure he's going to be able to. But guess what? He manages to get the fish in there and enjoys his meal. It often takes seagulls a few seconds to position their prey properly, so it's easy for them to swallow it. From high above, this seagull sees a fish and goes down for the grab, after which it flies away to swallow its prey further along the frozen body of water as it hovers before landing to see if it can find something else interesting to eat. A seagull goes deep sea fishing and snatches a fish. Of course, deep sea fishing in this case is just stuffing its head into the water. But once it has the fish in its mouth, Another seagull attacks it, and a few others join the frenzy until it turns into a mess of seagull proportions. Seagull vs Lobster Even though seagulls are always around water, I didn't think they liked lobster so much. I guess it's a delicacy for them, and they don't have to pay for it, so it must taste even better. A man saw this seagull fly onto a cliff with something big in its mouth. It turned out to be a lobster it just caught in the ocean. Since the seagull swallowed its food whole, it will be difficult for it to swallow the lobster because of its pincers. It's smart enough to chop off the lobster's large pincers and then proceeds to eat the meat inside the lobster just like humans do, instead of swallowing it. Not only is the seagull voracious and deadly, but it's also smart. In this video, two seagulls can be seen fighting over a lobster. 
and it's the second seagull that manages to chase the other seagull away and grab the prize lobster. This seagull tries to break through this lobster shell before it begins digging into the tender meat. Once it starts digging, it doesn't stop. I must admit that seagulls are ruthless and merciless. Some of these attacks were ruthless, and I felt sorry for some of the victims, especially those pigeons. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Have a great day and see you next time.